there, this is Seth Juarez. We're here in Orlando, Florida for Worldwide Partner Conference 2015. This is Launchpad Series Season 2. I'm filling in for Baldwin. This is a show where we talk to ISVs that help Microsoft products become a little bit better. And today we have a special guest. Tell us who you are and what you do. Sure. Thanks, Seth. I'm Jeff Johnson from Barracuda Networks, and uh, we provide security solutions for uh, customers when they want to deploy on Azure. Fantastic. Well, let's dig in. What do you got? We're going to talk about our NG Firewall, mm -hmm. which uh, helps customers securely connect into Azure. Mm -hmm. It provides functionality above what the standard VPN gateway, Azure VPN gateway provides. Uh, it also does next generation uh, firewalling. Fantastic. So it does app detection, multiple site to site tunnels, multiple client to site or point to site like the Azure VPN gateway does, but allows customers to maintain that same security mm -hmm. that they have on-prem okay. in Azure. Fantastic. Well, how do you do it? Let's see. Sure. So within Azure, we have two solutions, actually, on the security side. We have our web application firewall, which is perfect for when you're actually deploying a public-facing application. So if you're doing a custom app, SharePoint, ADFS, mm -hmm. or Azure App Services, you want a WAF in front to protect your, your data. Uh, on the NG firewall side, you're talking about connectivity. You're also talking about IDS and IPS which uh, customers really want to actually use because they use it on-prem. I see. Um, what we're doing today is we're going to add some value to ExpressRoute. Okay. So we're going to do some security above what, what's actually in ExpressRoute today. So I, didn't, I had never heard of ExpressRoute before. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about what that is. Sure. So ExpressRoute is a way where you can connect to Azure using a private network that gives you really high speed access in. So it's an MPLS connection that allows you to have servers in Azure appear on your LAN. I see. And so it's a way of having cloud infrastructure appear local and private. That's correct. Fantastic. Okay. So for ExpressRoute, what we're providing is going to be security on top of it. So with the normal ExpressRoute connection, you have traffic coming into your infrastructure, mm -hmm. and it's just flowing. Mm -hmm. So what the NG Firewall will do will actually allow you to create security rules uh, and actually limit and control traffic to only allow what you want. I see. It's actually, and in, in addition to that, it's going to allow you to prioritize traffic. So if you have your critical business application traffic that's going through, along with other user traffic, you can prioritize that so that you know, it doesn't stop any or cause any operation outage. I see. That's fantastic. So from an uh, NG Firewall perspective, we're going to do what we call traffic access control. So we can do traffic access control on IP address, port, application, user. Mm -hmm. So anything that you see within a packet, you can actually go and create security rules for that. I see. Um, if you're doing AD in both domains, then you can have that secure connection so that you can maintain control of AD and also uh, any traffic that flows between there. On the low latency side, what we're going to do is we're actually going to prioritize traffic so that your business critical application actually run, and mm -hmm. then all other traffic will get an, a, an additional priority. I see. So, so a lower quality of service. So if it's like Christmas time and you're selling thousands of products, you want to prioritize that traffic over maybe pushing your log data back. That's exactly <laughs> cool. correct. That's right. That's a great analogy, so thanks. Uh, in addition to that, we do do some failure protection. Uh, what you'll see, uh, what I'll demonstrate is having an express route connection but also having an additional connection over the internet. So then if the express route connection goes down, the NG will automatically switch traffic to use the internet connection, so you won't see any loss of uh, operational. But still secured the same way it was secured it's otherwise. Still secured, awesome. that's correct. And then users, well, customers are in charge of those uh, security keys. So certificates, algorithms, anything they use to encrypt that data, they're in total control of it. Fantastic. So this is really the architecture that you're going to look at. So from here, what you're going to see is there's going to be an NG on-prem. And that NG firewall can either be hardware or uh, virtual. Mm -hmm. And that is actually going to talk to another NG that's sitting within the Azure infrastructure. So what it does is it's going to actually create a secure connection between this NG through the MPLS router, through ExpressRoute, all the way into your infrastructure. So you're totally securing that path. In addition, it's going to build another path out your internet router, going through the internet and connecting back into 
the NG that's in uh, the Azure infrastructure. And so that's the fallback one. That's the fallback, or based on firewall rules, you can select which traffic goes over which oh, link. Oh, I see, cool. Um, and the NG that's in the Azure infrastructure, that can be deployed from the Azure Marketplace, either as a BYOL or hourly. I see, and these are, these are virtual machines that are stood up. That's correct. And it's the same, like on the, the NG on the on-prem side, is also a, a machine that's running? It, it can be a physical hardware machine that we, we sell, or it can be a virtual. Got it, perfect. Okay, let's go into the demo. So let me get rid of this. And let me bring up my connection. Okay, and so what is this machine that we're looking at right now? So this is actually a machine that's sitting in Azure. It's okay. behind the NG firewall. Got it. And I'm using it to actually uh, send traffic across that VP, across that MPLS network. Fantastic. Using the, the VPN tunnel from the NG firewall. Nice, so on the diagram, that's on the Azure side. That is correct. Got it. So we're gonna take a look at our live traffic stream. And live traffic is gonna give you a really good representation of all the connections that are actually flowing through the NG firewall. And it can actually show you all the traffic that's within your, uh, coming within your express route connection. I see, and that's like that, your virtual network inside of Azure. That's correct. It. So it gives you the ability to create firewall rules based on source or destination IP, based on IP protocol, port, or even user or applications. Got it. So as you can see here, I have an express route uh, connection. I have a VPN connection going through there. And this is all the traffic that's actually flowing through there. Awesome. So let me go back and let me filter on just my out, my VPN interface, just to show the traffic that's going through that VPN tunnel. I see. Okay. So here you have, you have the ICMP traffic, which I'm simulating as my data sensitive traffic, right? Okay. It has uh, latency, low latency requirements. Mm -hmm. And then there's also some SIF traffic that's going through. Well. The good thing about the ENG is what it provides you the ability to do is to do uh, QoS or quality of service on the fly. So you can make changes as traffic flows mm -hmm. to actually increase or decrease the, the quality of service. So as we look at the pings that are going through, just going through that VPN tunnel, talking to a machine that's on the other side of the ENG on our internal infrastructure, you see that the response times are anywhere between eight and 13 milliseconds. So to simulate the express route being overloaded, I'm gonna use iPerf. And all it's gonna do is just generate a bunch of traffic onto that, that VPN tunnel. Cool. So once I start that, you're gonna see that the response times on my pings actually increases significantly. I might even lose a, a few. So this simulates that, hey, I have critical sensitive data that's flowing through, mm -hmm. but I have no prioritization. I see. All traffic is treated as the same. So as you can see, as soon as I started that IPERF, NG saw the connections come in. But since no, there was no prioritization, it's all started to be treated as the same. So let's actually make a change here. We're gonna change the QoS. We're gonna put it to a higher quality of service. And then let's run that IPERF again. So this is gonna simulate having some kind of prioritization on your traffic flowing through ExpressRoute. So as I start that, let's take a look at our pings. And you can see that there's actually no change here. So the response time is still eight to 12 milliseconds. I see, so before when you flooded the network, the response times got, got bad. Got bad. But and when you did on the firewall, you said, okay, let's prioritize this traffic as more important. Yep. And so when the other traffic came in and flooded in, it still maintained the right packet. That's uh, correct. Okay, cool. And so now that iPerf is done, Let's go ahead and actually take a look in, at the VPN tunnels. So as you can see, the NG can actually create multiple tunnels. So this bottom one here, which uh, is quality zero, that's actually our express route VPN tunnel. In addition to that, I have two other tunnels. I have a tunnel that's going to that same NG firewall, but it's using the internet router. Mm -hmm. And then I have another one going to that same firewall but it's actually using some uh, WAN optimization and compression that we have available using our proprietary TINA uh, VPN technology. So TINA is actually uh, an enhanced enhancement to IPsec. Okay. So it does give you things like WAN optimization, caching, compression, and dedupe. Awesome. So one of the other scenarios is what happens if your MPLS link fails or there's a failure. How do you actually get traffic back up Mm -hmm. um, so that you can continue your business activities. So what we can do now to simulate that 
is to actually bring up our file share. And let's go ahead and just copy this file from one end of, uh, well, from on-premise mm -hmm. to Azure. So let's start that transfer. And let's just put this over here. And you see that this transfer started, it's about eight meg, everything's going fine. So let's now say, hey, what happens if this VPN tunnel or something happens to that MPLS connection? So let's go ahead and just disable this tunnel. And as we disable that tunnel, you're gonna see that it's gonna automatically switch over and start using the internet connection. So even mid-transfer of files, you can actually fail over to the internet connection instead of the MPLS. You fail over to the internet connection and you do it without losing any of the, those files that are going. That's awesome. And so now you're seeing, all right, so I, I failed over. Um, what happens if my internet connection or something happens to that one? Well, as we saw here, we're still transferring the file. It's about five meg. So let's actually go in and let's disable this tunnel and simulate another outage. And so traffic's gonna automatically fail over to the additional VPN tunnel we have up. But this one actually contains some compression. And so if you look at the speed of the, oh my goodness. the transfer, you see that we're getting quite a bit uh, more throughput based on the compression and the WAN optimization. And it was, it was immediate. It yes. wasn't, there wasn't no waiting around, it just spiked. Yeah, it just automatically, it's very intelligent. It can transfer if it notices any kind of disruption and do it on the fly. Is there a way to prioritize large files to move over to the better network? Yeah, based on firewall rules, you can specify any kind of traffic you want to use any kind of QoS band or any kind of link you want. That's awesome. Yeah. And you know, we just wanted to come in, show you a little bit of how we can add some enhancements over ExpressRoute and with our NG firewall. That's awesome. Well, where can we go to find out more? Sure, that's a great question. And you know what? I do have one more slide. Fantastic. <laughs> so let me get this up and there. So if you want to see the full demo of NG on ExpressRoute, here's a link here. If you have any questions about anything uh, on NG Firewall or other solutions, then you can contact us at Azure under support at barracuda.com. Fantastic. Well, thanks so much for spending some time with us. No problem. We're here in Orlando, Florida for the Worldwide Partner Conference 2015. This has been another episode of Launchpad Series. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.